This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about some other news here. Uh, prior to the WWE heading to England for the bulk of the European tour, quote unquote, network guy, Palmer cannon quit the company while drinking with JBL, Chris Benoit and Dave Finley. Cannon grew upset with the ribbing. He was the target of confronted JBL about it. And before a physical confrontation took place, decided to quit. He flew himself home. One WWE source tells the torch that JBL is automatically being made out to be the bad guy because of his reputation of being a hard ribber. But in this case, this is a situation where Cannon was just overreacting quote. I hear Cannon felt entitled that he had paid his dues instead of sitting there and listening. Cannon lost to Funaki at the April 19th show in Italy before quitting and booking a flight home. Cannon was not used on SmackDown as a wrestler, but actually did train to be a wrestler and was signed by WWE just over a year ago, originally as a wrestler. What can you tell us about Palmer Cannon and how this kind of got off track? Well, the, the whole Palmer Cannon thing was this guy looked like a network executive. <laughs> That's how he got the gig. He was a guy that was in developmental and, and looked like, uh, I could see him in a boardroom in a network. So that's why he was chosen. He had a look coming in. We figured we could teach him what he lacked in the working department inside the ring. And his personality was dry, kind of that of a network executive as well. So he was brought in, was not a good fit. And, you know, JBL gets a lot of heat and gets blamed for a lot of things, maybe just because he's the loudest, but John was not the only one that had issues with, with Mr. Cannon. And, and it, again, it's, it just isn't a fit. It's kind of like in your mortgage company, you may have the greatest, you know, the perfect fit that you think that you want to make, make work. And they come into that environment and Larry and others in there, they just, they just don't fit with them. And so you've got to make that decision that, okay, well, they may be the best, but they don't fit with the other six loan officers I've got here. Right. And they may just go somewhere else. I'll go down to XYZ mortgage. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.